this is a story about a little boy and a dog. More than anything else in the whole world, Pete wanted a puppy for his birthday. He didn't care what kind, just as long as it was a puppy. Did you ever want a puppy? One day, when, when it had just stopped raining and the water was still dripping off of the apples on the tree, Pete heard his daddy's truck drive up, and when Pete's daddy got out of the truck, he had a little bundle of fur in his hand. Sure enough, it was a puppy. But he is a mighty, mighty sick little puppy. The daddy had found the puppy down near the creek. You know the creek, down where the big vines hang across the water and there's lots of flat rocks you can throw. Well, you remember that place, don't you? Yeah. Pete's father handed the wet, furry little bundle to Pete and said, I don't know whether you live or not, Pete. He must have got washed away from his mama and well, he's, he's awful sick. Pete held the little puppy in his arms and he loved him. The puppy was too sick to even wag his tail or even look happy. Pete took his new puppy into the house. He got a cardboard box and put some clean rags in the bottom of it. And his mother told him to put the box near the stove where the, where the puppy could get warm and dry off. Pete looked at his pup and he said, I, I'm going to name him, I'm, I'm going to name him Bonganoxie. Now, nobody to this day, other than Pete and Bonganoxie, know why he named him Bonganoxie. I guess that's just none of our business. Anyhow, in a minute, Pete got him a pan full of warm milk and he put it down beside Bonganoxie. But Bonganoxie was too sick to drink it. He just looked at the milk and turned his little head away. Bonganoxie started to whine a little and it was plain to see that he had never felt this bad before in his life. Pete was so worried he, he called an animal doctor to come over and look at Bonganoxie. The doctor looked at the little wet puppy and he told Pete, I'm sorry, Pete. I'm afraid the little guy doesn't have much of a chance. He's been out there in the cold and wet too long. Now, if he had his mother to cuddle up to him and kind of keep him warm, well, maybe, but I'm afraid it's too late to help him much. Then the doctor left. And as darkness came, Pete started to cry. Then Pete realized that Crying couldn't possibly help little Bonganoxy. So Pete sat down by the stove and unzipped his jacket, and he tucked his little puppy inside his jacket to try and keep him warm. A little later, Pete's mom and dad came out, and they said, It's time to go to bed, Pete. You put your pup down, run along to bed. Pete tried to convince them to let him stay there with his puppy, but they said no. Pete said, But... I'll never complain about having to mow the lawn or run errands or... I'll never talk back again if you'll just let me stay here with Bonganoxie. So his mom and his dad finally said yes. And they went on off to bed. Both of them thought that there really wasn't much of a chance for little Bonganoxie. Pete was awake nearly all night long, petting his puppy, holding him close, trying to get him warm, but finally even Pete fell asleep. Early the next morning, one of the first rays of sunshine came through the kitchen window, and the ray of sunshine was just like a spotlight. It landed right on Pete. Pete started to wake up, and he yawned. <sighs> and then he felt something move. He looked down, and there he saw the puppy's tail sticking out from under his jacket. Bunga Noxie had gotten well. Bunga Noxie was wagging his tail. He was going to be all right. And just a minute later, Bunga Noxie was licking Pete's face. And a minute after that, he skidded over to that pan of milk and he drank it all up, every drop of it, and even wanted more. And the smile on Pete's face would reach from where you are all the way to the stars. And even today, if you were to go out to Pete's farm, you'd see Pete and little Bunga Noxie running across the field, playing and having a wonderful time and doing everything that a boy and his dog should do.